Marissa said that imperfectly. Can I get a motion to return from executive session? So moved. Second. Online voting is open. Motion unanimously passes. So first and foremost, I am so very, very sorry for being inaccurate with my time assessments. Um, I can I can safely say, however, it was very it was excellent dialogue. We were taking issues very seriously. And unfortunately, we just went a little bit longer. But I do apologize. I, my intent is never to keep you past when we would like to come back. Um, so I want to, I take full responsibility. So let's try and get through the rest as quickly as possible. <laughs> um, information items. Uh, there's a fire drills and safety drills as shown in the attachment. Um, the HIB report is for January is also attached and the suspensions for January 2023 is also attached. Um, we have under communications, we have no open requests. Is that correct? Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, school board secretary report. Well, January is school board recognition month. So we would like to read or I would like to read a resolution for the board. Whereas the New Jersey School Boards Association has declared January 2023 to be School Board Recognition Month, a time when all residents can acknowledge the contributions made by our local school board members. And whereas the Voorhees Township Board of Education is one of, one of 581 local school boards in New Jersey, which sets policies and oversees operations for public school districts. And whereas the Voorhees Township Board of Education embraces the goal of high quality education for all New Jersey public school students. And whereas New Jersey's local school boards help determine the educational goals for approximately 1.4 million children in pre pre-K through 12th grade, and whereas New Jersey's 5,000 local school board members who receive no remuneration for their services act as advocates for public school students as they work with administrators, teachers, and parents for the betterment of public education, and whereas school boards strive to provide the resources necessary to meet the needs of all students, including those with special needs, and whereas boards of education provide accountability to the public, they communicate the needs of the school district to the public, and they convey to school administrators the public's expectations for the schools. And whereas New Jersey can take pride in its schools, which rank among the nation's best and key achievement <coughs> indicators, such as the National Assessment of Educational Progress Scores, and the preparation for college through advanced placement offerings and SAT assessments. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Voorhees Township Board of Education does hereby recognize the services of local school board, school board members throughout New Jersey as we join communities statewide in observing January 2023 as School Board Recognition Month and be it further resolved that the Voorhees Township Board of Education urges all New Jersey citizens to work with their local boards of education and public school staffs towards the, towards the advancement of our children's education. Um, we would like to thank our school board members and tonight they're receiving a certificate of our appreciation as well as, I'm just gonna hold yours up, this very nice Yeti <laughs> mug or glass or <laughs> cup, I guess you call it. And it has Voorhees, uh, Voorhees Township Public Schools on it. So thank you very much for your service. We have another item under my section and it has to do with our wellness grant walking challenge. We do uh, several challenges a year and there are rewards that go out and this is paid for by a grant. And uh, the winners this time for the walking challenge are six weekly challenge winners that each receive $50 for a prize. Week one was Kimberly Stratton, week two, Elaine Banch, week three, Caitlin Greenwood, week four, Trish Lancaster, Week five, Victoria Prendergast. Week six, 
Wendy Koenig. And the top stepper of this challenge was Elaine Banch, and she wins a $100 prize. So okay. thank you, everyone, for your participation and welcome. Thank you. Awesome. Superintendent report. Okay. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Um, unfortunately, this is the second consecutive board meeting that I must greet you um, with some very sad news. Um, we lost another member of our family. On Sunday, January 15th, Gordon's Wicker, a special education teacher at Osage Elementary School, passed away. The news was incredibly devastating to the Osage family and to the district as a whole. A beautiful message about Mr. Zwicker was sent to the staff by Principal Cramer. A portion of the message reads, Gordon has been such a special part of Osage for the past 20 years. Spending much of his career in our self-contained class, he built a program that allowed countless numbers of students to remain in the Voorhees schools. His larger-than-life personality gave us so many laughs and fond memories over the years. Please keep the Zwicker family in your thoughts, and may we please have a brief moment of silence in his memory. Thank you very much. And if you can hear me very clearly, you'll know that we do have our sound system. So I wanna say thank you to Mr. Taylor and to Mr. Mathis for all their hard work in bringing the sound system. And my friend who asked for the sound system, I was hoping she would be here today, but we're hoping next time she comes, she'll be pleased that we have this system. So thank you very much for all of your hard work. There's a quote by Jana Stanfield that reads, I cannot do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that I can do. This quote rings true in regard to the volunteer service of our school board members. So to all our board members, I thank you. And your service is a testament to your commitment to making a difference, to fostering improvement, and to lighting the path to innovation and forward thinking. Thank you for answering the call to become a board member and giving of yourself to improve the educational experiences of our children. Thank you for your volunteer work. We truly appreciate each and every one of you. On tonight's agenda, we're asking for our board to consider approving a world language consultant. And the plan is for the consultant to work with the district's world language committee to develop a plan for world language K-5 for the 23-24 school year. Our plan will include option one, which would be the hiring of Spanish certified teachers. However, there is a shortage of Spanish certified teachers. So with this in mind, we'll be developing an option two. So option one will be hiring a teacher. Option two will be researching several world language programs um, for our district. The superintendent's forum has been rescheduled for this Thursday, the 26th at 6.30 in this room. I'm asking all parents to come out and engage in a dialogue with me about how we can continue to move our district forward. Start Strong Assessments results were sent home to parents of students in grades four to eight. Dr. Young will present the results at the February Board of Education meeting. The presentation will include the fall Start Strong Assessment and iReady mid-year diagnostic assessment data. Students in grades K to eight will complete the iReady mid-year diagnostic in literacy and math by the end of the first week in February. So we look forward to Dr. Young's presentation next month. Also on tonight's agenda is a resolution to approve a new social studies program for our middle school. The program was purchased last year to be implemented at the elementary schools in September of 22, this past September. The middle school program was being updated, so we elected to purchase the updated program this year to be implemented next September 23. The program is McGraw-Hill 2023 World Hist History Voices and Perspectives for grades six and seven, and McGraw-Hill 2023 United States History Voices and Perspectives for grade eight. On this agenda tonight is our proposed 23-24 school calendar. The one major difference in this calendar as compared to the 22-23 calendar is that inclement weather days will be added to the end of the school year. And on the calendar, you'll see that's June, well, you won't see yet, but it's June 21st and June 24th. In the past, we've used professional development days to be used for make up inclement weather days, meaning that if we have a snow day, we take away a professional development day for teachers. This practice makes it problematic to schedule professional development with different vendors. So we'll be just adding days to the end of the school year if necessary. On Wednesday, June 25th, there is a parent virtual workshop. It will be presented by Mr. Cramer, principal of Osage Elementary School and Mary Tadley, the assistant principal. The title of the workshop 
is strategies for addressing challenging behaviors. And my final announcement for tonight is also listed on the agenda is the retirement of Dr. Young as the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Young for her dedicated service of 31 years to this district. She was a student in the district and then started her career as an instructional associate. She moved all the way up to the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction. Dr. Young's dedication to the district is unwavering. Her love for the Voorhees is boundless and her impact on the district will live on for many generations to come. Thank you, Dr. Young, and you certainly will be missed. Thank you. That ends my report. Um, for policy, policy committee uh, report, uh, Dr. Levy, can you provide an update? Sure. Good evening, everyone. Um, the policy committee met this evening at 6.30. Uh, we reviewed two policies to be abolished. Uh, we had quite a few policies for uh, first reading. And we are also discussing a revision to the uh, board meeting agendas and how those will look. And those will be on for first reading um, at our next meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Audience participation, anyone wishing to address the board, please approach the back table or the side table um, and write your name and address on the login sheet. If you are attending via Zoom, please use the raise your hand feature to be acknowledged. While the board is limited in its ability to respond to the public on matters involving personnel, litigation, negotiations, and attorney-client privilege, the board will now hear comments from the public relating to items on the agenda for this board meeting. Comments are limited to three minutes. The board will not take action this evening. You will be notified at some later time by letter, electronic mail, telephone, or in the context of a later board meeting of any action the board does take. Being no comments, um, comments from the board. I personally want to thank Dr. Young. Um, I have had the privilege and honor to work alongside you for, oh gosh, I guess five years now. <laughs> um, and it has been a wonderful experience. I think you've taught us all a lot. Um, you're always available to help and you answer my emails and explain things to me very seamlessly and um, quickly. Uh, I, I know that it is very difficult to commit to 31 years in one place um, and, and say goodbye, but you are always welcome. You always have a home here and we are eternally grateful for your service. So thank you so much. Any other board comments? Transportation. Can I get a motion to approve all of the items under transportation? So moved. Second. Second. Online voting is open. The motion unanimously passes. Make it a motion to approve all of the items under policy. So moved. Second. Online voting is open. Motion unanimously passes. You get a motion to approve all of the items under personnel. So moved. Second. Online voting is open. Motion unanimously passes. There are no items under deferred action. Can I get a motion to approve all of the items under new business? So moved. 
Second. Online voting is open. Motion unanimously passes. Our next regularly scheduled meeting will take place at the administration building on February 22nd, 2023 at 7 p.m. Audience participation, anyone wishing to address the board, please approach the side table and write your name and address on the login sheet. If you are attending via Zoom, please use the raise your hand feature to be acknowledged. While the board is limited in its ability to respond to the public on matters involving personnel litigation negotiations and attorney client privilege, the board will now hear comments from the public. Comments are limited to three minutes. The board will not take action this evening. You will be notified at some later time by letter, electronic mail, telephone, or in the context of a later board meeting of any action the board does take. Hi, totally rogue here, just no script or anything. So don't mind me if I'm a little all over, just two concerns. Um, we got our testing scores, as you said, for <coughs> fifth grade. Um, one of the things I noticed, my child does really well testing. She scored you know, 99th percentile in iReady, but then when it came to the Start Strong, she's actually in one of the lowest levels. So I noticed that maybe, I know we have a reason for doing our back-to-back -back testing, but it's just something to take notice that she does do really well on most of her tests, but by the time she got to that, she was so burnt out that she really did struggle at a fourth grade level when she's reading high school level. So I do see significant impact on her grade, whether it's the pressure of knowing, like I know her teacher stated some of the effect of how important it was, a lot of stress. So I did feel like I saw an impact there. The other thing I wanted to bring up was sex ed. We got the comprehensive sex ed and my kid came home and she knew something about scuba Steve combining with an egg. Did not get a very good. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, sorry. During sex ed, my daughter got a lesson that was, she's in fifth grade. So it was scuba Steve combines with the Emily egg. It wasn't very informative. If you're old enough to menstruate, you're old enough to get pregnant. I think there has to be, we have to use technical terms. These kids understand them. They came home laughing and the kids that didn't get it because the education was lacking a little there, they were teaching each other. So that also causes an issue there because kids can't teach kids this type of stuff. So it's just something to consider. I don't know if the lessons are gonna be more, but right now they're not, that, I'm not thrilled with that. So thank you guys. Thank you. Good evening. Um, happy Board of Education Month. Um, it is a great job, but a thankless job sometimes. Um, as a uh, coworker of Gordon's Wicker, we appreciate the support the district gave. It was a really tough time for the students, the staff, parents, um, and really uh, we felt very supported and the kids still have the resource they need. It is something they're still struggling with today. A couple kids had problems because they're now processing, but we appreciate it. Um, it definitely was a very tough time. Um, wanted to congratulate Jill Locke. She's also retiring effective June. She is our secretary to Osage, um, holding the ground, and she we're uh, sad to see her go. And Dr. Young, who was my, my very first year, my mentor. Um, and then when she got promoted up, my job became permanent. So I always had a special place for Di um, Diane. <laughs> um, uh, we call her a good friend and uh, very happy to see her moving on to new endeavors. Um, but I know it's bittersweet for us. So I uh, just wanted to say that and thank you for your time. Any additional comments from the board? Oh, yes. 
I know, um, you know, it's board appreciation month, but like, it feels to me and I'm new, of course, like a privilege to be able to do this also, um, and to give time and to try and impact the community in that way. And I, I've, you know, spoken privately about this, but it just feels like it's a privilege and an honor to be able to do this. And, um, I just wanted to put it out there that it's, you know, we appreciate you too. Also, um, you know, you're showering us with appreciation, but it's sort of, um, I mean, sort of a pleasure uh, to be part of, you know, giving back to the community. Thanks. Moving on to finance. Can I get a motion to approve all of the items under finance? So moved. Second. Online voting is, op is open. Motion unanimously passes. There, we will not be going back into an executive session. Um, can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Have a wonderful night and go Eagles. Have a long day. Yeah, I think so. I want to.